Hi guys, welcome again to my channel, Cardiologist. In the previous tutorial, we spoke about the modify panel tools, and you were introduced to many useful commands used along with the draw panel tools to create 2D drawings, such as the copy, offset, and mirror commands. This tutorial will focus on the object snap modes from the status bar. As I told you guys before, these modes will allow you to create precise drawings with accurate dimensions. And you can snap into a specific location on any object when you are picking a point to apply any of the draw or modify tools. Although we already explored some of the OSNAP modes, we will go through each one of them to understand their functions completely. Before you continue with this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the alert button to know more about drafting in AutoCAD and many other engineering softwares. Now click on the OSNAP tab arrow and choose Object Snap Setting. Uncheck Any Mode and click OK. Make sure the Ortho Mode is on and let's draw a line of 50 mm length. If you want to draw another line exactly at the ends of this one, you need to activate the endpoint mode from OSNAP. So you can snap either the beginning or the end of your line. As you can see here. This mode is also useful when you are using any tool from the modify panel. For example, choose mirror, select your object, and mirror exactly at this endpoint. If you want to draw a construction line at the midpoint of these lines, we need to activate the midpoint mode from OSNAP tab in order to snap the exact middle of a line or an arc. I will draw a vertical X line at this midpoint mark and another at this midpoint mark. And one more horizontal X line at this endpoint mark. Let's offset or copy this horizontal line a distance of 20 mm down. Select the line, copy, 20 mm down. I want to draw a rectangle from this midpoint to the intersection of these X lines. And in order to do that, we need to activate the intersection mode from OSNAP tab. Now we can see the intersection mark to snap at it. Here is our rectangle. If I want to draw a line starting from this point and perpendicular to this line, we need to activate the perpendicular mode from OSNAP. When you move the cursor somewhere close to this line, we can see the perpendicular mark to snap at it and draw our line. I will draw another line the same way on the other side. Let's delete the X lines we drew before and draw a circle at this corner of the rectangle. As you can see, when I move the cursor close to this corner, the endpoint mark will appear to help you draw a circle exactly at this location. I will draw the same circle on the other opposite corner. Now activate the circle command again. Instead of specifying the center point of the circle, we will draw this circle using the 2P option that you learned about before. I want to specify the first endpoint of the circle diameter at one of the circle quadrant by activating the quadrant mode from OSNAP. This mode will allow you to snap any of the circle four quadrants. I will snap at this quadrant 
and specify the second endpoint at this quadrant. Now I want to draw a line starting from the center of this circle and to one of the quadrants. Right now when I move the cursor over the circle, I can see the quadrant mark to snap at. But in order to start the line drawing at the center of this circle, we need to activate the center mode from OSnap. Now, when I move the cursor over the circle, I can see additionally to the quadrants, the circle center point to snap at. And then I will specify the endpoint at this quadrant. I am gonna explain the tangent mode from OSnap, which allows you to create a line tangent to a circle or an arc. I will activate tangent and try to draw an X line tangent to this circle. I need you guys to focus on this. Although the tangent mode is on, I can't see the tangent mark when I move the cursor over the circle. I might see other marks like the quadrant if it's activated. If you want to snap a specific mode, whether it's activated or not, Press the shift button from the keyboard and click with your mouse right button anywhere in the drawing area. And this menu of snap modes will show up. Select tangent and snap anywhere on the circle close to the tangent mark to specify the X line starting point. If you move the cursor in any direction, the line will remain tangent to the circle. Just press anywhere to specify the through point. You can draw as many lines tangent to the circle as you want. To end the command, press escape or enter from the keyboard. Another useful mode from OSnap tab you might be needing in your drawing is the extension mode that allows you to snap the phantom of an arc or line. So after activating this mode, I will draw a circle with the center 10 mm up from this endpoint. Put the cursor over the endpoint mark and move it slowly upward. We can see an extension of approximate distance at a certain angle. Just type 10 mm from there to specify the center point and hit enter. Then I will specify the radius to be 10 mm. I'd like to talk about another tab in the status bar that functions almost the same as the extension mode from OSnap. It's called Object Snap Tracking. Located beside the OSnap tab and it can be turned on or off also through F11 key from the keyboard. It tracks the cursor along vertical and horizontal alignment paths from object snap points. So if I have this L-shaped line and I want to draw another line from a specific point somewhere here to this endpoint, activate line command and turn the object snap tracking on. Then just put the cursor at this endpoint and move it slowly to the right. You will see a horizontal path. Now. Put the cursor at this endpoint and move it upward slowly till both paths intersect. There we specify the line starting point and end it here. Now, if I want to draw a circle somewhere along this line, go to OSnap tab and activate nearest mode. This mode helps you to snap the closest point to an object. Then, when you move the cursor over the X line, now you can see the nearest mark to snap at and draw the circle. By now, you should be familiar with the OSnap modes from status bar, when and how to use them to draw accurately any object. Feel free to go through this tutorial again in case it was too fast for you or you couldn't catch up. Of course, you could always stop the video, apply the moves I talked about and play back. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel 
and hit the alert button to stay updated.